I'm going to show you guys how to get your own graph horn, how to unlock the uh, ground mounts, and also how to catch multiple of these so you can breed them if you want. So you can actually get more than one of these. So the first one that you get is actually going to be from the main story. And the main story will have you eventually come over somewhere over here. You'll be with Professor Fig. I think it was the third trial. And then it wants you to go do some stuff and it'll basically lead you over to this area of the map. And over here, you'll end up having to fight one of these graph horns, which is the one I'm on right now. And after you beat him, you can put him inside your bag just like any other beast. And then after that, you can just summon him uh, the same way as your broom or something like that. So you press whatever keys, depending on what console or PC you're on or whatever, uh, press over a button. But once you have him, then on the right, there'll be the three options. There's the flying mount, the broom, and then the new one for the graph horn. And after you get him... Uh, you can actually come and get graph horns whenever you want. All you need to do is get away from this location and then rest, like sit here and, and do the, the thing where you wait a few times. I can't do it right now, but uh, when you're not on your mountain, you're far away from here, you can, there's a button down here to wait and you do that and do it. I don't know how many times, either two or six. I, I don't know if it's a one day or three day cycle, uh, but after you do that, you can actually come back to this location on the map and there will be a new graph horn for you to fight. And uh, you can just go ahead and fight it. And uh, then once you beat it, uh, you can go ahead and get another graph horn mount by doing the exact, it's basically the exact same thing as the quest. You just gotta beat it. And then you can catch it, which I'm also gonna see it really fast, show you that this hilarious cheese tactic with the graph horn where you can use a graph horn to beat the graph horn. So there we go, I beat the, oh, oh wait, is he, is he down? Okay, I, I don't know if he's down. Okay, he's down. He's bugged out of his mind, though. All right, so you're not supposed to do that, apparently, but it's fine. All right, so then once he's defeated, just like anything else, take your bag and then use your bag on him. And then you'll have another graph horn. You can do this as many times as you want until you have an entire vivarium of nothing but graph horns if you want. So there you go. This location, just so you guys know, is over here at the very edges of the map over in the coast. And it's right there, the uh, graph horn den. So that's it, guys. That's how to get the ground mount. That's how to get multiple graph horns, how to breed graph horns if you do the breeding quest with Deke and all that, the side quests. Um, so, yeah, that's graph horns, guys. Hope that helps you out. Hopefully that helps you out. Also, uh, feel free to check out the description of this video for other helpful videos that I've made uh, from, you know, 30,000 an hour gold farm to uh, other XP tricks and things. And also, if this video helped you and you want to return the favor and help me, uh, I'll have a link in the description for a Steam page for a game I'm working on called Art Gallery Simulator. And if you could go to that page and just wishlist it so it'll send you an email when it comes out, uh, that would help me out a lot. You don't have to actually buy it unless it actually looks good to you, but if you wishlist it, that, that would actually help out the algorithms and stuff for me over there. But uh, that's all, guys. Hopefully it helped you out. Now you know how to get as many graph horns as you want in Hogwarts Legacy.